Chess friends, 4000 LO is not small number, it's the biggest number for any kind of chess engine. Humans also have it, I talk about Magnus Carlsen, he now has the highest rating in chess. We have black pieces for alpha and white is Magnus. Before starting the video let me show your today's puzzle. This is 70 to 80 IQ puzzle, you have only 3 minutes time to solve it. Solve it and comment me the full answer. Wish you all the best, and if you haven't subscribed our channel, then subscribe the channel with a beautiful like, comment and share to get more educational courses from us. Let's go, Magnus starts with d4. d5 by alpha, you can play c4. Knight f3, or London variation bishop f4. Magnus played c4. You can play e6 or c6, main line, alpha played e6. Knight c3. Knight f6. Knight f3. D takes c4. e3. You can play a6 or c5. Alpha shows to play a6. Bishop takes c4. b5. Bishop d3. Bishop b7. Castle. c5. D takes c5. Bishop takes c5. a3. Knight b d7. Magnus played e4. But best move was b4. If you move your bishop to b6, then a4. It's bishop to e7, targeting the pawn. So white wouldn't push his a pawn. Anyway, queen c7. Bishop g5. Rook d8. Magnus played b4 now. But best move was queen e2. Because now Alpha gets a chance to put his knight on e5 square. Guys, I want pause the video and try to find the best move for Carlson. Go. Okay, time's up. If you find bishop takes f6, well done. You are wrong. Because after g takes f6, rook is threatening the bishop and the knight. Well, if you take the bishop, then rook takes bishop, queen c2, then rook takes f3, fascinating move. If you takes rook, g takes f3, then rook g8, check. Followed by king h1, knight takes f3, threatening mate in 1. Full dominance from alpha, it will be very bad for Carlson. Game will be over. So, if you think b takes c5 then rook takes bishop, almost same variation. Queen c2. After taking the knight white will play g takes f3. Then knight f3 check. And you will lose your bishop. White will lose the game. So, what is the best move for Magnus? Best move is knight takes e5, let me show the variation. Knight takes knight. And after some moves later, bishop d4, targeting the knight. Rook a c1. Castle. Black have advantages because the bishop is creating multi-layer attack on these pawns. Rook is pressuring there. The bishop is stuck there, creating pressure on the knight. The queen is giving support to the g5 bishop and d3 square bishop. If black can play rook takes bishop then queen takes d3. Then you will lose your bishop. After moving your d4 bishop in a good place. But white can manage the position if he play correctly. Magnus didn't find knight takes e5. He played knight takes b5. Sacrificing a knight because the bishop is under attack. A takes b5. Knight takes e5. Queen takes e5. Bishop takes f6. Bishop takes f2 check. Rook takes f2. G takes f6. Rook d2. King e7. Rook c1. Queen d4 check. King h1. 
Rook d7. Rook cc2. Rook hd8. Creating pressure on the bishop. So, queen e1. Queen e5. Rook c5. Queen f4. Rook f2. Queen h6. Magnus played bishop c2. I want you guys pause the video again and find the best move for alpha, go. Ok, if you find bishop takes e4, congratulation, you are correct. Because bishop takes e4 is not possible because of rook d1. So rook f1. Bishop takes g2. Alpha sacrificed his bishop. King takes g2. Rook d2 check. King can't move actually because of this, every square is dangerous. If king f3. Then queen h3 check. Rook will come there and there is mate in 8 moves. White will lose very badly. So, my guy played queen takes d2. Queen takes d2 check. Rook f2. Queen d4. King f3. f5. Alpha wants to bring his rook, rook f4 check. White's pieces are frezzed, he can't move his pieces. So he played bishop takes f5. Queen d1 check. King g3. Rook g8 check. King f4. Queen d4 check. King f3. E takes f5. Rook takes f5. Queen d3 check. King f4. Queen d4 check. King f3. Queen d3 check. King f4. Rook g6. Rook e2 check. Queen takes e2. Rook e5 check. Queen takes e5 check. King takes e5. Rook e6 check. King f4. King f6. h3. Rook e1. King f3. King e5. King f2. Rook a1. h4. h5. King e2. Rook takes a3. King d2. Rook h3. King c2. Rook takes h4. King b3. Rook h2. King c3. King e4. King b3. King d3. King a3. King c2. King a2. Rook h3. King a1. Rook a3 mate. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, wish you all the best. Bye bye. Take care, see you in my next video.